The St. Lucia Cooperative Credit Union League recently handed over four high-flow nasal cannula machines to the Ministry of Health and one to the St. Jude's Hospital in support of the response to the COVID-19 pandemic and other respiratory challenges at the hospitals. The high-flow nasal cannula machines are expected to provide respiratory support to patients who require oxygen therapy. Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, the Honorable Moses Javatis, expressed heartfelt gratitude to the St. Lucia Cooperative Credit Union League for the timely donation and says these machines are very critical in saving the lives of patients. I am sure your members, those who are not here, will understand and feel that this is a really timely and important contribution to the health care um, of St. Lucia to the fight, not only um, with the COVID-19 virus, but also, as I understand from the doctors, other ailments, whether it be COPD and other ailments. President of the St. Lucia Cooperative Credit Union League, Gilroy Satney, says his organization remains committed to providing assistance towards the health and well-being of the nation. Today's donation by the local credit union sector is a continuation of the ideals and beliefs of the cooperative pioneers to bring about human and social development. Our decision to donate four machines to the healthcare facilities in Castries and one to the St. Jude's Hospital is taken with full regard for the interests of the broader community within which the credit union movement and its members reside. Medical Director of the Respiratory Hospital, Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, expressed her appreciation to the St. Lucia Cooperative Credit Union League for the kind gesture and much needed assistance during this time. This contribution or donation is timely and it's appropriate. Some of our COVID-19 patients, they develop what you call acute respiratory distress syndrome, which affects the oxygen uptake into the lungs. And as a result, what has happened is that the decreased amount of oxygen that goes to the lungs, you have a situation where we have organ failure, multiple organ failure, and it can actually lead to death. So low levels of oxygen in the tissues can result in failure and, of course, death, as I mentioned. And having this machine, which allow them to improve the delivery of oxygen to the, the organs, and we have better clinical outcomes. The five high-flow nasal cannula machines donated by the St. Lucia Cooperative Credit Union League cost over EC $58,000. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Fennel Neptune.